Hi, this is Gary with Gary versus Cars, and today we're back with the Model A, the 29 Model A. Um, I'm doing some body work on this car, and last time I showed it, I think I showed it in a uh, powder coat epoxy primer, which I then scuffed and then put a Evercoat uh, body filler on here. And uh, this is actually the second coat of filler that I have on here. And, you know, for those of you who don't do a lot of body work, and there's pros out there who can will show you a different way, but there's many ways to do body work. And one of the things I want to convey is um, you got to know when to stop sanding. That's really the most important part. Uh, the, and you have, the other part is when you, when you block sand, you go in a crisscross passion, pa fashion from corner to corner or end to end. And you work your way across the panel with the largest block you have. And that's what I've done here. In fact, let me get the block. So as I was saying, get the largest block you have. I think this is a 16 or 17 inch block. Um, I also have one larger, but you're gonna go end to end. Just crossing over very light pressure. I realized when I was doing that, you couldn't hear me. Crisscrossing over very light pressure. And when you hit a metal spot, you gotta stop. You're not doing yourself any favors if you go down further. So scuff it with 40 grit. I then wipe it off with a degreaser. I then put on first coat of, of uh, body filler. Rage Premium is what I'm using. Um, and then I knock it down. And then I put a second coat on. And here you can see I had some high spots and I had some low spots. I've already tapped down the high spots. Now this fender has a lot of junk in it. This thing was just beat up, okay? So I had a lot of highs and lows. So I tapped down the low spots, or the high spots. Those are the ones you can see in metal. And then you can see the low spots are these darker color shades. And what I'll use is, I'll use a, um, a, uh, a uh, guide coat, which is either powder or uh, spray paint, but I like the powder guide coat because you don't have to wait for it to dry. Uh, 3M makes it. And I'll guide coat this and sand till I remove all the guide coat. So again, first coat of filler, knock it down with the 40, set, blow it off, second coat of filler. I go 40 again, and then I go 80, 120, and then 180, and then I stop. And I make sure that I have no metal showing when I stop. And then from there, we will uh, put another coat of primer on it, and then three coats of high build primer and block it, which I'll show you. So again, high spots get knocked down, you stop when you see a high spot, they get knocked down in many cases, or you build up more filler. In this case, I felt like the, the high spot was too high, so I knocked it down, and then I'll be able to come across this again and use less filler. Now this car, as I mentioned in the last video, is gonna have, unfortunately, a lot of filler on it because it was so beat up, and I hammered out the metal the best I could without just completely stretching or destroying the metal. So here's the passenger side of the car. This has been hit with, uh, with 80 grit, I'm starting to show a little bit of metal. I think what I'm gonna do is uh, see if I can get away with 80, 120, 180 so that I can prime it again, staying aware of these metal spots, avoiding those. Um, and then I can put the high build primer on it. But this is almost done on this side, I think came out pretty nice. I'm treating the belt line separately. What I'll do is I'll finish here and here, and then I'm gonna tape off the belt line and treat that as a separate uh, area to work. So I just wanted to show you the uh, what I use. I use an Evercoat Rage Ultra. This stuff sands easily. I think it's about $60 a gallon. Um, you know, you can buy the cheap stuff at AutoZone, the Bondo brand, it's hard to sand. Uh, why not just use what the professionals use? Uh, they show you mixing instructions on the top here. Um, and then I use the blue hardener the thing is, when you got a new uh, can of filler, you want to stir it because a lot of the oils uh, and substrates will be at the bottom. So you want to stir that can and then knead your hardener. You take the air out of your hardener and then you knead the hardener to get all the material mixed together. And then you mix together with a, with a smooth consistency and spread it on the car. Okay, so here I'm gonna do a real-time mixing of the, uh, the body filler. I like to wear a latex glove, keep your filler capped at all times. 
Make sure it's mixed. I'm almost at the bottom of this one here. So mix up your filler. Kind of gets to the point where you know how much filler. I tend to do two blobs like that. I tend to use a little more hardener than, than, uh, than what they recommend. Um, just the way I've always done it. Um, still sands fine. Uh, use too little hardener and uh, you're gonna end up digging it out later. So I've, I've kneaded the, this and then I just come right across the top like that. Okay, then I've got a six inch squeegee here and then you work it together like this. And then you pick it up, spread it out, try not to get any air holes in it, air in it. Don't be choppy with it, just spread it out like this. And then make sure you get all of it off your sanding, your, uh, your, what do we call this thing? Spreader. Squeegee? It's a spreader. Yeah, squeegee thing. Spreader. Okay, so I got all, it's all well mixed. You can tell because there's no blue streaks in it. And I'm using these clean sheets, which are really nice. So what I did was I went back, put a little more filler on here. I left this part uh, bare because I was a little higher here than I was in other areas. And then I try to feather it as best as possible. So I'm gonna come back with some 80 grit, some 120, some 180, and I'm gonna call it good. Okay, so if you notice here, uh, I stayed away from this area because I have to do some metal work. I really should have done this work first. Um, the key is you just don't want a lot of heat around your filler. Uh, it tends to, to ruin the filler. So I um, gonna stay away from this. I'll do some metal work here finish this side here. Got a piece of metal work down here, piece of metal work right here as well. I had to relief cut this so I could follow this edge right up into here. This is a replacement panel on here um, that's been butt welded. Uh, actually, it's lap welded on the back, butt welded on the side. Uh, so that concludes this video. Uh, next time I'll bring you back and we will take a, another look at uh, this panel, uh, hopefully maybe uh, when it's in epoxy. So thank you for the time, have a great day. And like I started finishing every video with, if I can do it, so can you. So my daughter just reminded me that I forgot to say, if you like this video, click like and, and subscribe. So thank you and have a great day.